I don't know how my body's going to be. This could be like the last in-depth, you know, not to be morbid, but let's be realistic. I know you're precious, cargo. I love when you're around. I'm Eric Leaf. I'm at Darkos Recording in Nashville, Tennessee, and I'm about to record some new songs to encourage people to keep going. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hum the arrangement to the musicians and I say play it like this. Do 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 you know for example. On a scale of cerebral palsy on a scale from one to ten, I would think mine would be an eight. What cerebral palsy is is <coughs> you your your um motor functions are all messed up. For example, if I say, <coughs> I want to lift up a cup, I have to concentrate. That's why sometimes you hear my voice, you know, sometimes it's smooth, and sometimes it's... <coughs> As I will through the heartaches of life, the road can get kind of rough. It's hard to do things by myself. It would be nice to have a partner for all sorts of stuff. My dad, Robert Leaf, was head engineer at RCA from 1952 to 1968. He was innovative in sound. One of the greatest memories that I had is when my dad took me into the studio and uh, I was 11 years old. And he said, he pushed me, he pushed me, pushed me in front, of, in front of the board, puts my brakes on, and says, okay, I'm gonna give you something to do. I'm like, you're gonna what? He put the tape on the machine, and it was Mata Hoople's All the Young Dudes. I was 11 years old. He's like, okay, I'm gonna give you an hour. I want you to mix this song. They, they still use the mix today, so I must have done something, right? If I could today I'm recording a song, If I Could. It's for Becca Bramlett. Becca's recorded with Fleetwood Mac. Her parents were the lady and Bonnie. They recorded with Dwayne Norman, Eric Clapp, George Harris. One day when I was growing up in my teenage years, I said, what if there was a, a disabled bus to drive people all where they want to go? And the next thing I know, I found myself in Washington in front of President Reagan. You guys call it Access and Ride, but it was a pilot program in Nassau County called Able Ride. And now it's used throughout the United States. I wrote a song called God's Canvas. I wanted to paint a picture with music that people can be happy and think positive. And it's okay to feel, it's okay to have bad days. It's okay to say, Sometimes life sucks. Composing compositions for God's campus. I'm composing compositions for God's campus. I would like the world to know that um, God sees you. There are people who love you. I think I've been. A, um, I think God has wanted me to feel suffering. So I could, uh, so I could show empathy to other people. <clears throat> I just want somebody to say, your life was
Your life wasn't for nothing.